Hello friends, in this video series, I am going to explain about various qualitative identification tests for alkaloids and as you know, these are some common identification tests for alkaloids and these are some specific tests. And in my previous videos, I have already discussed the details about Mayer's test, Hager's test. Now in this video, I will discuss the details about this Wagner's test. This video is sponsored by Pharmacy India app. So for the details about Wagner's test, first I will discuss the preparation of reagent. So Wagner's reagent contains iodine that is I2 and amount of I2 will be 1.3 gram and the second material will be potassium iodide. Which is denoted by Ki and the amount will be 3 gram. Now this I2 and the Ki will be dissolved in 100 ml of distilled water. So when we will take 1.3 gram of iodine and 3 gram of potassium iodide and both will be dissolved in 100 ml of distilled water then it will form the Wagner's reagent. Now coming to the methodology for this test which is very simple. So for this Wagner's test, first we will take the sample and this sample should contain alkaloid. After that we will add this Wagner's reagent and after the addition of this Wagner's reagent, if this sample will give reddish brown color, It means alkaloid or alkaloids are present in our sample. So these are the composition of the Wagner's reagent and uh, this is the details about Wagner's test. Now in my next video I will discuss the details about this Dragon Dobbs test. Thank you. This video is sponsored by Pharmacy India app. They provide online test series for competitive exams related to pharmacy like GPAT, Drugs Inspector, Niper, Previous Year Question Papers, Pharmacist and all. Download dedicated Pharmacy India app for complete details. Link is given in the description.